Let's go back out now to Eileen Whalen, who is live at the National Arboretum. Uh, Eileen, uh, you get the best assignments. What are you up to this morning? What are you doing now? Oh, so exciting. First of all, it is the most beautiful day here at the National Arboretum. We really couldn't have handpicked any better weather. So earlier we learned how to prune our azaleas. Then we got a look at the grass. And now potted plants and we are in one of the gardens and I'm joined by one of the horticulturists. This is Bradley Evans and first of all as we kind of take a nice little view, Bradley did this entire garden and it looks spectacular. So what plants are these? Well, I've got a lot of different tropicals and like uh, mostly a lot of hardy things in the um, in the center. Okay. And then around the perimeter, a lot of annuals. They're just for summer. All right. Now these plants that we have here, these are. Let me make sure I get this correct. They are dry, resistant, succulent plants. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So tell us more about them. Well, um, this is just a selection of which you can get. Um, available at a lot of different nurseries around, mm -hmm. um, and they're great, drought tolerant. You can just sort of plant them part sun to full sun, mm -hmm. and they do great all summer with very minimal water. Once a week, you can go away for the weekend and not worry about them. And then in the in the uh, in the fall, you can bring them in, and they they're great in a sunny windowsill. Perfect. When that weather cools down. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I mean, for myself, this is, you know, kind of the, the type of plant I think that would be best suited for myself because I'm so horrible at remembering to water the plants. Um, so what, if you were going to pot something like this, what kind of soil do you use? Um, I like to use a mix, just regular potting mix with okay. um, a lot of peat moss. And then I add a little bit of grit to it, like a sand, uh, yep. okay. um, just for a little bit of added drainage. Mm -hmm. And and that's it. And sometimes I do a little bit of fertilizer once a week just to keep them growing. Okay. And um, yeah, and they're just really easy and great and really drought tolerant. Now, what is this? I love this right here. Yeah, that's, that's called sedum lemon ball. And it's wonderful color all summer, as are all of these. It's just a great sort of spectrum. This is just a little bit of what you can get that's available. Yeah, you know, we were talking earlier because, you know, I've always thought that, you know, when you when you talk about, you know, dry plants, you think traditional cactuses, right. but, or is it cacti? Cacti. It is cacti. Okay, so not cactuses. Um, learning something new every day. <laughs> um, anyways, so, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're so colorful, and, and these ones especially, they look so floral. Yeah, those are Echeveria. They're almost like little flowers, but they're not in flower yet. <laughs> oh! You know, these are the flowers right here, but you know, they're almost but like... But even still, I mean, that's like, so yeah, beautiful. Just a beautiful little rosette. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, I definitely encourage everyone to come out to the National Arboretum, um, a part of the U.S. Department of Agriculture. And um, one more thing to note, that if you come, you can see all of the, the work that Bradley's done, but also some new specialty plants that um, some growers actually give you the opportunity to, to kind of give them a trial. Exactly, yeah. I get a lot of lovely plans to evaluate and then at the end of the season I go back to the grower and tell them how they did. And you know, they're not on the market and it's great for people to see new stuff that's not available yet. Well, wonderful. Bradley, thank you so much. This has been awesome. So, hey, the weather's nice. Head outside and garden. But before you do that, hopefully you'll stick with us through the rest of the show. We'll be back after this quick break.